Hello everyone, this is Dr. Tushar Mehta. I'm an orthopedic surgeon and your faculty of orthopedics and I'm sure by now you must have seen the two very important clinical tests which are asked in entrance exam. Not only that, but they are asked in your viva exam as well if you're in final year MBBS. I'm sure you can read the word Otolani's test, Balo's test. So just give you a background, this is a condition called congenital hip dislocation, CDH, also called as DDH, developmental dysplasia of hip. Now, you are not aware as a doctor that whether the baby has a dislocated hip or not, but there are certain risk factors. So when you go there, how are you going to hold the baby? Face of the baby, body of the baby, the right lower limb, you can ignore it, the left lower limb, that matters. So what you're looking at right now is left lower limb. What you're looking at right now is left thigh. What is this right hand of the examiner? Now, right hand of the examiner is kept on the left thigh in such a way that thumb is on inside of the thigh, the fingers are on outside of the thigh. Now, if you look at this arrow, that means that the examiner is trying to apply a pull. If you look at this arrow, that means that the examiner is trying to take the hip away from midline. So that is what is called as AB, B for Bombay, AB duction. So you have to understand this in the form of this bottle. Imagine this is the head of femur, this cap. Imagine this is the thigh. Imagine we don't know whether hip is dislocated as of now. We don't know anything. But assuming hip is dislocated, so this is a stabulum, head is outside the stabulum, I'm sure you can see. So technically, the right hand of the examiner is holding the, distal, uh, the is holding the thigh, thumb is inside, fingers are outside. So what is the first thing that is going to happen is pull. And then AB, Bombay, Bombay, abduction, abduction, and suddenly the examiner will feel a clunk of entry. Now that clunk of entry is due to what? Head going inside the stabulum. So what does that mean? That head was dislocated, which is now reduced. So Otolani technique or test is basically a dual modality because it is diagnostic as less well therapeutic. Not only it tells you that hip was dislocated in the past, but it reduces the same as well. You have reduced the hip with the help of Otolani's test, but then the mother of that baby says, thank you, doctor, you have helped me because you have done a dual modality, but then you say, madam, I've reduced the hip. But is there a guarantee that despite my reduction, the hip can dislocate again in future or not? There is no guarantee. So, madam, the hip that was dislocated, which I have reduced, let me try to dislocate it again and see whether it is dislocatable or not. Madam said, doctor, this time, what are you going to perform? You said, madam, we are going to perform Otlani's part two. That is what is called as Barlow's test. So, bottom line remains the same. You will hold, bottom line remains the same. You will hold, you will hold the thigh in the same position. <coughs> but this time, you will do exactly opposite of what you did in Otlani test. So rather than pull, you will apply a push. Rather than pull, you will apply a push. Rather than a bomb reduction, you will apply a a reduction. So the moment you will apply a push and adduction, the hip will dislocate again. I'll show you how. So this was the position initially. Yes, you started like this. Okay, done, done, done. Reduced. Okay, thank you. No, thank you. I will dislocate it. Push adduction. The moment you do, the hip dislocates again. So that means that the hip was not only dislocated in the past, it can be dislocated again in future. So it is dislocatable hip. So Utlanis tells you about dislocated hip. Barlow's tells you about dislocatable hip. Or Barlow's is something that we don't do open in clinical practice because that's not even required. Utlani is still to be done. I hope you get both these tests clear. And if at all they come in your entrance exam in the form of an image based question or a video based question, you have to remember one thing. If your video starts with a dislocated hip, ends in a reduction, a reduced hip, Otlani. If it starts with a reduced hip, ends in dislocation, that is called Barlow's. A simple, easy way to remember. I wish you all the best. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel.